blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, I beg, I plead, Lord, to give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, that you put in my heart to speak. I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Last night, something odd happened to me. The Holy Spirit moved upon my heart and told me to go to the computer and start typing. And I thought, well, okay, what am I typing? And it was kind of like the Holy Spirit just moved upon me and told me that he would give me the words that he, he wanted me to, to type. And then I realized that this was basically what he wanted me to tell you. Basically, this is a warning. This is what is to come. And I have seen this. And I was told to warn you. More banks will collapse. The European banks will start to collapse. A major bank collapses in Germany and drags the whole world into the economic abyss. A bank holiday is coming. And soon, one day soon, every bank will close for a period. And uh, then paper money, it will have some value right then, but its value will be short-lived after the banks close. And they will introduce a, a new digital currency, but that won't work either. More strange and deadly storms are coming. People will seem to go mad and do unspeakable things. It's in the news almost every day, people doing horrendous things. Several massive and unprecedented earthquakes along the whole west coast. And there is much destruction and much death. And then a monster tsunami comes ashore and destroys what, what is left of the entire west coast of America. Then a massive tsunami comes to the eastern east coast. And the east coast is inundated with water destroyed. Jeremiah 51 and 42. The sea is come upon Babylon and she is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. Babylon is America. The new Madrid fault will rupture big time and split America into two continents right up the Mississippi River Valley from the Great Lakes to the Gulf of Mexico. Gold and silver, as the dollar declines, it, it will go up in value. But when the dollar goes to zero, gold and silver will eventually become worthless. And I give you Ezekiel 7 and 19. Gold and silver, they, they will not keep you warm and you cannot eat it. So uh, the free food runs out. Social security comes to an end. Then everyone riots in the streets. Even small towns have rioters in the streets. Everyone seems to be demanding, screaming for, for something. Spoiled Americans are still pining for the free stuff of days long gone by. Rioters are armed and kill many officers and kill each other too. Fire bombs, looting, and people will seem to go mad. Very many homes and businesses are bombed or, or burned out. Martial laws declared for much of America. The only thing that has any real, real value is food and clean water, along with you guessed it, weapons and ammo, medical supplies, antibiotics, and stuff like that. Blue Helmet soldiers come. The UN will be invited into America to establish peace, so they will tell us. But peace at what price? They will kill many. They will open our borders for the Russians and the Chinese troops to come in to quote unquote help establish peace, but that is a lie. They are here to conquer America. And then a mad world comes. Nuclear weapons are detonated over several large American cities. But not all cities are bombed. Only those cities that the occupation forces have trouble with. Everything gets super expensive and super hard to find. Food becomes very expensive and soon after that it gets almost impossible to find. People will barter and swap for things they need as the currency is worthless. Power will be hit and miss all over the country, and eventually power will be lost and will not come back on. People will be, uh, in the summertime, they'll be, they'll be sleeping outdoors on mattresses because it'll be so hot in their homes. And then, and in the winter, people will be uh, sleeping on top of their uh, mattresses with, uh, with uh, piles of blankets on top of them. 
just so they can keep warm and they'll cover the whole family this way. Million dollar homes will have no power, no water, no gas, no electricity. And even if you have a generator, the fuel for that will run out very quickly. People will be astound astounded how their lives have changed as now once millionaires are destitute and have nothing, nothing of value, as the million dollar homes are not worthless. The $150,000 Mercedes is not worthless. $10 million in the bank, it's worthless too. It's all worthless now. Some people will just sit down and give up and wait for death to come, and it will come and take them. Jeremiah 51 and 13. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thy end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. Some understand that this is a judgment of God. But still few repent. Few come to Jesus, and only one, the only one who can truly save anyone. Now more than ever, people are mad. They're mad at God. They blame God for their predicament. People will curse God as never before in these last days. Some will absolutely refuse to believe in God, but it is God who judges them. America is under a special judgment, as America is the harlot of Revelation 17. America has been that golden cup in God's hand, Jeremiah 51 and 7. But now God's blessings have turned into a curse. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues, Revelation 18 and 4. And her plagues are many and grievous. To whom much is given, much is expected. Judgment comes. Prepare. Now is the time to repent of your sin and, and invite Jesus into your heart and give you a new heart and to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Also to pray, the blood of Jesus washes over you and washes all your sin away, washing you clean, washing you white as snow. These are the last days, and we are that last generation. So if you look, you can see judgment coming. God bless you and yours mightily. And we keep you and your family in our prayers. You are all a gift from God to us. And we love each and every one of you so very much. With much love and more grace from above. And we are going home very soon. We are going home so soon. So soon. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I sense it. Every fiber of my being tells me, and the Holy Spirit even tells me, that we're so close. We are so close to the rapture. We are so close. Every morning I wake up in, in my bed and I am actually surprised to still be here. But one day soon, one day soon, we the faithful, we will get raptured out of here. And then this world will be left to its own devices. Because this world is not my home anymore. And I pray it's not your home either. You can't put your faith in man. You can't put your faith in government. You can't put your faith in science. You can't put your faith in anything. The only thing, the only thing that you can put your faith and trust in these days is Jesus Christ. He has never lied. And he will keep each and every promise of his that he's made. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. Amen.